Hey everybody, here's my Scott Plasma Pro that I got for a very good deal, and there's a reason why. <laughs> Keep watching, and I'll give you the answer. What we have here is my carbon plug for the carbon steer tube on the carbon fork. This is the OEM one, so it came with the fork, and what I'm showing you here is one that I already had, which hopefully is going to be better than this OEM one. Now in case none of this works, simply replacing the carbon plug, I have this Cervelo fork with a steel steer tube. The beauty of the steel is that I can just put in a regular star nut. Here we go, I'll just kind of compare them for you. Here's the problem, so take a look. These carbon steer tube plugs can sometimes just get pulled right out of the carbon steer. That's kind of a nuisance because what happens is your headset can get loose. So it can shake and you don't really know why until you take it all apart and then you find that your carbon plug is loose. And I'm pretty sure that's why I got such a good deal on this Scott Plasma Pro. So as you can see, you can just loosen it off and it will go back in. I'll just compare here the one that I had, which has these kind of rough nibs on it, and the OEM carbon plug, which just has these like fine, rough lines. <laughs> now, the problem there is it was pulling out, and it was pulling out probably a lot, which is why the person just decided to dump it. You can just imagine how much a, a bike shop is gonna charge somebody to figure this problem out. I guess this person just figured, eh, it's an old bike, I'll just upgrade and get rid of this one. All they're doing is looking for a sucker like me to buy. Now, this is a common issue on Scott Carbon frames from that era. I think it's around 2005, maybe 2006, maybe 2008, I don't know, something like that. I'm pretty sure it's a common problem with any carbon steer tube. Let's just take a good look at these. You can see that they're nice, ribs on there versus hardly anything to grab on that OEM plug. As you saw, this one still came loose. I'm just gonna show you how to put this in and maybe I just didn't tighten it up enough. Now something to look for when you do this is making sure that the carbon plug is actually straight in the steer tube. And you can see here, I'm getting it as tight as I possibly can using the fork legs as leverage. The plug doesn't sit perfectly flush. Now, maybe that's my fault for just tightening it in, maybe not paying too much attention, but the problem I had there is I went to install the stem and the stem just doesn't slide on properly. And of course, when we're dealing with carbon fiber parts, we don't wanna force anything. We wanna make sure that everything is perfectly set before we put everything together. So here's how you fix that. Let's loosen it off again, plug it back in. And I'm just gonna use my fingers here to make sure that it stays nice and flush to the top of the steer tube. There's always gonna be that tiny little bit and we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. So that's about as good as I can get it. With any luck, that's going to work. Okay, well, I hope this helps you out. And if you ever get a good deal on an old carbon frame, especially a Scott, there's gonna be a good reason for it. If you wanna see some other stuff on my Scott, uh, I'll be making videos soon enough, but I will have this short that you can check out right here.